everybody and welcome. Uh, today is the first stream I've done in a little while, um, only owing to the fact that uh, a lot of the work that we've been doing lately has been back-end work. So hopefully you can hear me, and uh, I'm happy to spend a couple of minutes today going through some of the uh, the quick little updates. For those of you who were around earlier this morning, I hopefully you enjoy hopefully you enjoyed our uh, our second foray into uh, shenanigans with the Aldori shenanigans uh, team, and uh, it was uh, another fun uh, another fun scenario which they entirely curb stomped. So well done to them. Uh, so. There's been three releases, lots of work on the back end, but there is a couple of front end things that I'd like to point out for anyone who sort of has been wondering what are the sort of things that changed. Uh, so let's start off here with our scenario. Um, Mauriciel is come up to this drow warden and wants to uh, get inside a very exclusive club that obviously she's not welcome in. So she very quickly will create a forgery. Uh, and so this built-in macro will create a, a forgery. And now in her inventory, she will have an item, a forged document. And one of the things that we've added is GM only notes. So if you're logged in as a GM, you will see this top box that lets you know that the forgery is good enough that passive observers can't notice the fake. So only those who examine it with a perception check of 18 um, will against your society check can do so. Uh, this does look like the same text uh, as below, other than if you fail to make the forgery, these numbers up at top will change, and the player won't know. So you'll get different text up top if uh, if something else happened. So uh, let's try again, see if we can get a different number. Oops. Um, uh, we'll just give it a bad forgery modifier of minus 20, uh, because she obviously did it in crayon. So there we go, um, score to zero. So now if we go and look at the new forged document, uh, <laughs> it has some obvious signs of being a fake. Um, so anyone's passive uh, perception should be able to detect it. Um, as a record, it would take a minus two check. So that's just a demonstration of some of the GM notes. You can put these on sort of any object that you'd like. Um, you know, if you have a, a, a thing that the player has, like this rapier pistol, um, you can edit it. Uh, oops. Add a secret GM note. Um, so the GM will have the note saying this is shoddy, but the, the player will be none the wiser. They won't see this. Uh, so that's a cool thing that we've added. So obviously the uh, the the forgery was a bad forgery and it didn't pass. So we're about to go into combat. So why don't we take all of our players, we'll add them to the tracker, and uh, we will roll initiative for everyone. Uh, turns out that this creature is from the hills. Uh, one of the new things that we can do is have Sione change it up. Um, so deception rolled by Mauricio. Um, oh. Oh, never mind. I got the wrong one. So Sione, when she rolls, these creatures are from the hills, so she can actually roll hills lore. So hills lore, uh, or any lore, is now a, a legal initiative stat. Well, that's no good. Mercy is definitely going to need to reroll for initiative on this one. Otherwise, we'll not be able to demonstrate what I want. Um, so Mauricio very quickly draws her rapier and will stab the creature in front of her. Oops. Uh, I don't think it worked. I'll have to redo initiative for everyone. As I, oh, or I need to begin encounter. That'll do it. Um, so she'll roll her strike, and we'll say that it hits. And you'll see that automatically sneak attack is rolled on this. So we've added a new thing called ephemeral effects. 
Um, so Marisil has Surprise Attack. And Surprise Attack has one of these, where if it's the first round and your initiative is less than the target's initiative, um, and you have ended up rolling Deception uh, or Stealth, um, and then you do uh, some sort of attack that qualifies, you will automatically get the sneak attack bonus applying. So it's a one round effect. It'll only happen in those cases, uh, but you see it automatically happen. So if I now advance to the second round of combat and I do the exact same damage, sneak attack is no longer there. Uh, so we'll happily, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, so there, now he's bleeding. Uh, so we'll fast forward. Some of the new things that you'll notice, we've updated the combat tracker. So for characters on your team, they'll be in a nice shade. Um, for enemies, they'll be in a different color in the combat tracker. Additionally, you see the little purple reticule. Um, that is who I'm presently targeting. Uh, so because I'm logged in as the GM, uh, the person that I'm targeting um, happens to be the Drow Warden. If I change my target, it'll shift to the different characters. And so as a GM, at a glance, when you've got multiple players logged in, you can see who now is targeting whom. Uh, so the poor Drow Warden, um, he asked the zombie for help, and for whatever reason, this zombie has reactions and decided that he'd help out. Um, so the zombie will attempt to aid him uh, so that he can do a recovery check early. And of course, he's a zombie, so it fails. But you can roll that straight up from here. Uh, in addition, you'll now notice that all of the information for the different effects are available on Hover. If I come to the zombie and I hover over top, it lets me know that they're slowed one. Um, let's say Mauriceal, for some reason, ended up having a very, very large rapier. Uh, borrowed it from Amiri, I suppose. Uh, you'll notice that she now automatically has Clumsy, and it's applied by the plus one striking wounding rapier because it's too large. Uh, so yet another thing that's sort of built in for now. It has, obviously has no mechanical effect, but uh, that's what it does. One of the other cool things, uh, Mercil has a pistol for whatever reason, and uh, let's say she fires off a round at the Drow Warden, and it does one point of damage. But let's say instead she uses a, an eroding bullet that she has, and she fires that off. You'll notice that the two uh, the two d six persistent acid damage from the eroding bullet now applies. So one of the cool things that we've added is any ammunition that does have a rule element on it. So here's the extra damage that it gets. These now will transfer if you have them selected to the weapon, which also means I could draw a short bow and I could fire an eroding bullet because why not? Um, and you'll see yes, that will also apply the. The, the extra damage, because it's just passing on the rule elements. It doesn't filter and say, you can't fire a bullet from a short bow. Uh, that will definitely be GM Fiat. Uh, when it comes to rule elements, the setting has now changed. So for GMs, you will always see the rules tab. The setting that you can set is si in system settings at this point is now only going to be uh, for determining whether or not a player can see. Um, so it's player rule element access. So if it's enabled, the players can see rule elements. If it's disabled, they can't. But any logged in GM user will always be able to see rule elements from now on because it sort of makes sense to do that. Uh, this won't. Uh, so if you now roll uh, a blind check, uh, this probably won't work for me because I'm a GM. Uh, but for players, blind checks will no longer have the, uh, the the set initiative button, so they won't be able to set initiative off of a blind roll that they've done, which kind of makes sense. Uh, so that no longer exists, but of course the GM should still be able to set that should they so choose. Mercial, we can see that she picked up a piece of jade. Um, so when she goes to now sell it, she now gets a confirmation confirmation message. We had lots of people requesting this and saying, oh, I accidentally sold some treasure or I accidentally sold a key. So now you will have to have a confirmation. Uh, there'll be a confirmation prompt for selling of treasure. Um, yeah, and uh, so that's the last big one. The last, so those are the things that I guess uh, 
are the, the front end changes for anyone who's playing along. So to, to recap, we now have secret GM notes um, for persistent damage. Uh, you can now roll assisted recovery right off of it. Uh, you can also recall, roll your recovery check automatically by popping it up and doing the damage. Uh, oh, this one I didn't demonstrate. I skipped over it. Uh, you'll now notice when you try and add a new spellcasting entry, you can no longer add rituals. Uh, instead, just add the ritual. And it'll automatically make a ritual casting entry. Uh, so weapons now pull rule elements from the ammunition. Uh, the rule element UI is now always on for GMs. Uh, blind rules will no longer have the set initiative button for players. Uh, confirmation dialogues now exist for selling of treasure. Uh, the effect descriptions are now happily in the effect panel. Uh, automatically, you get clumsy with oversized weapons. Um, and then we had lots of cool upgrades to the combat tracker for both colors and targeting information. So those are all the stuff that come, have come out for 410. There's some cool stuff that looks like it's coming out. We're getting ready for our sort of last push before PaizoCon and version 11. So uh, we'll see what neat things we have coming up. Uh, what search bar was that and how can I use it? That search bar is from quick insert, uh, control space, and that'll pop up the, the thing, but it's a module you need to install if you'd like to use it. I don't use it all the time, but it is pretty handy for what's here. Um, if anyone has any questions, I'm happy to spend a minute and answer them. Otherwise, um, I will wish everyone a pleasant uh, weekend. Is it possible to disable auto clumsy on oversized weapons? Uh, no, because it's uh, well, it's part of the rules of the game. I mean, at that point, you either increase the size of the player or just don't make the weapon oversized and change the damage dice. Oh, it's our pleasure. Well, if anyone has any more questions, feel free to hit us up on our Discord. Um, I will see you all relatively soon. Bye for now.